Okay, welcome back to another beautiful day out here. I'll tell you where we are in a second, but uh, it is cold, it is brisk, a little windy, and we're gonna get some trails in today for sure. Oh, serious trails for sure. Stay tuned. to the channel welcome back to the vlog we are in Shenandoah uh, Park National Park today in Virginia I'll put a map exactly where we are right up here and uh, actually I'll move it over a little bit right there we'll put it so we are staying in Shenandoah State Park uh, River actually it's called Shenandoah River State Park it's a campground we are smack dab between Shenandoah National Park and the Washington uh, National Forest um, I think that's what it's called, George Washington National Forest, something like that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some trail running in today. My wife and I came in last night in the van with no name. And uh, yeah, she's at, just left actually to go do some running. And uh, it's a cold day. It's uh, below freezing right now. And uh, it's kind of windy. And we're gonna go try to find some mountains. And uh, hopefully the drone footage is good and shows you all of the mountains that are around here. But we're gonna go check that out and there's a lot of people walking around. And uh, anyway, we're also gonna check out new nutrition today. So we're using the Martin uh, uh, drink mix and energy gels as well. So uh, we're gonna give that a shot today. Hope to get out for at least a couple hours, maybe a few hours and see how lost we get. So anyway, we're gonna move over to 360 camera and get warmed up, ready to roll and try not to break ourselves. All right, let's go. So we're just getting started here. We just got a mile in. And before I get too frozen, too tired, and get back into the wind, I did mention that we are using the Mar 10 uh, nutrition today. So I have the nutrition, the drink, in my hydration pack today instead of Tailwind Nutrition. And I'm rocking uh, four gel packs. But I also have my spring energy with me just in case. So we'll see how that works for this long run today. I'm walking already. Whew. I'm not sure if you can tell behind me, but I'm on a road still, and it's too steep for me to run right now. Oh my goodness. It's steep. And I'm looking for a hill still. But anyway, this is the kind of stuff that makes you stronger. Where we come from, in the flatlands, we got none of this. Anyway, I'm gonna catch my breath. Finish climbing this hill. It's a trailhead, so we actually do trails instead of roads. So that's why I can walk the trails instead of walking the roads. Whew.
Uh, just over eight miles in, taking a quick break. Just tried out the first Martin gel. See that there? And uh, yeah, that's a different one. That's just a different flavor. Uh, it's that's is a non-caffeinated one, and it has a, a, like a Jello. It tastes like Jello. Felt like Jello with a slight sweet taste. So that wasn't bad. Let's see. What, let's see what happens when. I'm tired and labored and have trouble digesting things, see how it goes down, but uh, right now, it tastes pretty good. The uh, consistency, like I said, is jello-y, so it's, it's okay, not bad. Uh, no complaints yet. Hopefully it doesn't affect my stomach too bad. Anyway, we gotta get this trail done. Anyway, so uh, yeah, get a look around here. This is where we are. No bears yet, eight miles in, and uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. Let's roll. Well, we got about 10 miles in, and uh, we're at a fork in the road here, and uh, it's 2.3 miles back to the road, and another like three miles back towards the park, and then a couple more miles to the campsite. So that's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, another seven miles. So we'll probably just call it, not call it a day, but we're gonna split off here. And not go any further. Oh, as I almost fall over rocks while I'm standing still. And uh, head down this trail. It's been some rocky stuff, as you've seen from the videos. But other than that, feeling pretty good. Only tripped once. And uh, knock on wood, I'm not going to fall or trip on anything the rest of the time. So we will have some road running in a few miles. When we get back down to uh, this road here. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll find some we'll go on roads for a little bit. And then... Uh, get on some trails as we head back towards the campsite and try to do all, all that before it gets dark. So let's get rolling before it gets dark. <sighs> I just checked Google Maps to see where we are and uh, see how much road we're running today to get back towards the park. 3.8 miles. Holy hell. I just crossed mile 12 and uh, yeah, this is what we get for a while. So, uh, yeah, let me run these miles on the road and uh, we'll get back with you when we get back on the trails. Oh, All right, as we're crushing quads down this gravel road, ow, I want to try out another one of those jello shots, I'm going to call them from Martin. So, 
here's this one if you can see it this is the caffeinated one gonna be flying high so give this one a shot because it tastes like a jello shot actually feels like a jello shot tastes like light sweetness so it's actually pretty good oh there's another mile gone mile 14 done oh i think i got another mile and a half to go to get back the trail oh these hills hurt all right down the hatch all right lying back on some trails oh take a second here figure out where to go river trail that's where we're going oh yeah these trails are a little bit easier to manage Ooh, than that so if i was just on there should be less elevation to deal with and a whole hell of a lot less rocks Whew. let's go check it out That last little bit was a little painful. Going on the flats is more painful than uh, the hill sometimes. Anyway, 18 miles done. Just a touch under 10 minute mile pace. Some of those hills, I was, all you saw, basically just walking it. Couldn't do anything else. Anyway, the uh, I wanna talk about the Martin Nutrition. Uh, it's pretty good, it held me. For these last few hours of running without a problem i don't feel totally bonked or anything so that's good i don't really feel the caffeine like i do in the tailwind but that's okay i'm still functional and doing well uh the gels let's talk about that the gels taste good uh they have like a sweet ish flavor it's really light flavor so that's good it doesn't like pound you in the face with some kind of weird no flavor of like chocolate or whatever it's just sweet and like sugar but it's like taking a jello shot like so if you might remember this back to your college days doing jello shots that's what it's kind of like it's all oh, we're getting that jello right back in there um which is which is fine <clears throat> i can see it being a little bit of a challenge hours into a race when uh, you have trouble like digesting things and getting things down your 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 throat like i do there's a lot of times where i can't even take goose anymore because I'm working so hard I'm so tired and fatigued uh, so I can see that being an issue um, in a long race but today it was okay uh, plenty of calories same calories as a regular goo I think pretty much uh, the drink mix the Martin drink mix I put the proper dosage in there and it was fine but it's like gelatinous a little bit it makes the water thicker so like in Tailwind Nutrition, it tastes, uh, it has the same consistency as water. Like it's like a, like a really light fruit drink. Um, but it doesn't like get thicker. Like this is actually kind of thick and it just feels weird drinking something that's a little thick. In fact, it was so thick that I didn't properly mix it in my bladder in my hydration pack. And uh, it actually like, congealed at the bottom and I couldn't suck any liquor through. I had to like take the the bladder out of the hydration pack, shake it all up, get it all broken up, and it's just gelatinous. I don't know if you're going to drip out of here. Will it drip out? Not really. Not really. Mm. It's just, it actually, it's opaque. I can see it in my hose here. It's opaque. So I don't know if I did the right dosage. I think I did. I did <clears throat> uh, two packs for a liter, and it says, one package for 500 milliliters, so I, th I think it's right. Simple math. Uh, so I don't know if I like that. Um, the taste is okay. I like taste. Just like it's gelatinous, kind of. It's weird. Oh, and uh, it's expensive. This stuff is really expensive. 
Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody or anything like that. And uh, so I have to pay for all my stuff. And uh, this stuff is really expensive. So I got this as a uh, sample pack. You can get spray from the company uh, or you get it from the feed. So actually, I'll leave a link in the description. I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but I'll leave a link of where I got my stuff uh, called the feed. And uh, I think you got other stuff there too. We just got the Martin there. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today. 18 miles of hilly, rocky stuff. Below freezing, actually, it's just above freezing now because all the frozen trails are now turning into like peanut butter here. But uh, we're done. We're going to get showered and cleaned up. We're camping here. We're here in the Shenandoah area in Virginia. So we're going to camp out, hang out by the fire, try to stay warm, and maybe get a small run in tomorrow and a hike. A lot of stuff going on. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a big thumbs up on the video. Any comments, what are you guys doing this weekend? What do you think about the Martin Nutrition? Um, if you use it, let me thought, give me your thoughts on it. Maybe I mixed this wrong. If I did, please tell me. So maybe, I, maybe it's not gelatinous when you drink it. I don't know. Um, and finally, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, of course. Until next time, peace.